Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Data Warehousing Series. Our topic for today is about data warehousing architecture, second, three tire data warehouse architecture, and third, data warehouse model. Now let's proceed to our first topic business analysis framework. The business analysts get the information from the data warehouses to measure the performance and make critical adjustments in order to win over other business holders in the market. Having a data warehouse offers the following four advantages. First, since a data warehouse can gather information quickly and efficiently, it can enhance business productivity. Second, a data warehouse provides us a consistent view of customers and items. Hence, it helps us manage customer relationship. Third, a data warehouse also helps in bringing down the cost by tracking trends, patterns over a long period in a consistent and reliable manner. For to design an effective and efficient data warehouse, we need to understand and analyze the business needs and construct a business analysis. Now, you will notice that the uh, four advantages of having a business analysis framework as architecture, we will notice here that it takes us into edge if we are on a business itself why first is that you can have a pattern you can compare your own item your own price the customer itself you can compare because you have your data warehouse imagine if you have your own business and you don't have any data warehousing or data warehouse so how can you manage in terms of what will be the exact price of the product how about the ups and down of uh, dollar okay which it has been guided by the price here in the philippines so that four advantages make the business more productive another is that the this is used by hr Okay, not only to track the the item, the prices, but they're going to track also person of interest. Uh, for example, uh, we can track here who has a higher income rather than the others. So we can follow by the markets and the marketing strategy is to convince them. And that is the idea. Yes, it's true. We have the advantages just in case we're going to use data warehouse in our business each person has different views regarding the framework design of a data warehouse these four views are as follows the first one is the top-down view this view allows the selection of relevant information needed for a data warehouse the second one is the data source view this view represents information being captured, stored, and managed by the operational system. Third, the data warehouse view. This view includes the fact tables and dimension tables. It represents the information stored inside the data warehouse. Fourth, the business query view. It is the view of the data from the viewpoint of the end user. On this view, we have four HR uses here, three views, because the second view is for the IT. And this view is the segregation of workload uh, because they have different kind of figures and different function. Now we are finished now with the data warehousing architecture and that architecture goes to a framework. Now let's proceed to our second topic, three-tier data warehouse architecture. Generally, a data warehouse has adopt a three-tier architecture. We have three tires of a data warehouse under the following. First, the bottom tire. The bottom tire of the architecture 
is the data warehouse database server. It is tire architecture, the relational database system. We use the backend tools and utilities to feed data into the bottom tire. This backend tools and utilities perform the extra clean load and refresh function. So if we're going to ask what is a bottom tire, again, bottom tire is a server. It is a database that is being used by the organization. So for example of a database we have access uh, FaxPro, MySQL, Server. Um, we have uh, different type of servers. Okay, but they use as database. Number two, middle tier. In the middle tier, we have the all up server that can be implemented in either of the following two ways: a by relational all up which is extended relational database management system. The rollup maps the operation on multi-dimensional data standard relationship operation. B, by multi-dimensional OLAP or what we call MOLAP which directly implement the multi-dimensional data and operation. Now, you will notice that this three tier of architecture we have is considered to be focusing on the server itself. The bottom tier is the database of the server. The middle tier is the online of the database to the other system. That is the middle tier. What network or internet they're going to use. Online or offline could be considered possible. That's why I mentioned that the middle tier is the connection or the network or the internet or to make it specific, it should be online. Third, top tier. This tier is front end client layer. This layer holds the query tools and reporting tools, analysis tools, and data mining tools. Top tier is the system or the layer that has been seen by the client or the analyst. So top tier is a very non-technical way of the top three tires we have because it is an English information tool unlike the two tires we have. Okay. Second, a uh, top tire uses the description that shows in the output it identifies only here that this could be the client layer they never mention here that this is something like a server okay so that is the idea but again this tire classified to use by all of the end users it meant to say anything who uses the computer is considered to be end user and what uh, they are looking at on the computer is a top tire now if you're going to ask me does the top tire is considered to be a server also the answer is yes it is a server also intended for reporting viewing display and outputs now the following diagram depicts the three tire architecture of a data warehouse on the next slide so you will notice here that this one is a data warehouse it is the bottom tire the all up server it is a middle tire query reports analysis data mining it is a top tire and again they are all database they are all database so figure 19 this figure show the three tire architecture which they are connected to each other and I mentioned to you also that it produces output all of them all of them the three tire produces output now uh, right here it should be the reporting okay output 
reporting. Now, uh, so we are finished with the three-tier data warehouse architecture. Now, let's proceed to the last topic we have, the data warehouse model. The data warehouse model, from the perspective of data warehouse architecture, we have the following data warehouse model as follows. First, virtual warehouse. Second, data mart. Third, enterprise warehouse. Virtual warehouse, the view over an operational data warehouse is known as a virtual warehouse. It is easy to build a virtual warehouse. Building a virtual warehouse requires excess capacity on operational database servers. And again, this virtual warehouse is managed under operational databases because what you need to do is to make a copy that gives you speed virtual warehouse was created only for the speed of computer the speed of its function the speed of its output the speed of its computation that is how we use virtual warehouse in computer science so that's why if even in your laptop or desktop even in your cell phone if you have a large capacity of storage you can make your own virtual warehouse problem here in the philippines is that the capacity is in every devices we have here is considered to be very low so that is uh, the best part of it so we have here in figure 20 this figure shows the data mo warehouse model so we have operational ERP CRM plot file extract transform and load the ETL metadata summary data raw data the data warehouse and we have the data mining reporting and OLAP analysis. A while ago, we discussed about after the data warehouse we have, there is a what we have called online on the three tire. Then after this, OLAP as a server, uh, they can analyze, report, and data mine. But right here, you will notice the OLAP is considered to be included on the analysis. But on the three tire, the OLAP is segregated because it is a server. Now, data mart. Data Mart contains a subset of organization-wide data. This subset of data is valuable to specific groups of an organization. In other words, we can claim that the Data Mart contains data specific to a particular group. For example, the Marketing Data Mart may contain data related to items customers and sales data marts are confined to subjects seven points to remember about data mart one window based or unix linux based servers are used to implement data marts they are implemented on low cost server two the implementation data mart cycle is measured in short period of time example in weeks rather than months or year three the life cycle of data mart may be complex in a long run if its planning and design are not organization wide. Number four, data marts are small in size. Data marts are customized by department. The source of a data mart is departmentally structured data warehouse. And last, data mart are flexible. Again, the three tire is a very effective way to us to determine what and how can we describe data mart again the three tire which i mentioned from our previous slide they are all servers and it mentioned here that a data mart is also a server that display a very small in size departmentally segregated structured and flexible so that is the idea so to make this uh, more shortened of what is a data mart so data mart is a sub sub selection 
of the field itself. Next, Enterprise Warehouse. An Enterprise Warehouse collects all the information and the subject spanning an entire organization. It provides us enterprise-wide data integration. The data is integrated from operational system and external information providers. This information can vary from few gigabytes to hundreds of gigabytes, terabytes, or beyond. Let's go back for the enterprise warehouse when we said enterprise warehouse it is a combination combination of every system we have under the sun example you have your operational system you have your databases you have your application system you have your providers you have your under providers there is what you called online uh, there is also a combination of uh, the subject internally and externally there's also incorporation of the client from uh, the customer and the employees itself so it means to say enterprise warehouse it's the whole part that functions in the warehouse itself that is the idea so validation board we have here data warehousing architecture we are finished with that second topic the three tire and the third topic we have the models congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number seven thank you and good luck